So it's been a while since the last ePaper price tag update and with this video I just want to do it. It's uh, still in development to get them running via an Arduino or an ESP32 in this case. It's here yeah, using a CC1101 module and an ESP32 connected to the computer just for debugging and for power. It is running yeah, this code and gives status updates to the current yeah, um, RF stuff. On the left we can see the HTML code for the yeah, config where the main things are happening. And yeah, it's now also... Um, supported to use these newer displays you can see in the serial number there is a c at the end and on the older ones as for example on this chroma 74 you can see a b at the end and they are a bit different to one <laughs> to one another it took a while to get behind how they get activated how they are here yeah, configured and I needed to get my head on some of these access points from yeah the company to get um, extracted or to sniff how they activate these new displays and I just want to show how to go and yeah how it would be used in the end so if you want to use it you use um, you take the serial number of them and can yeah input it in the field so it's five two one six three and you have to select an idea to yeah make them unique with only 16 bits except um, instead of the long serial number I will just yeah name them 188 and now I have to click on activate new display and in that moment we will see here in the output log that yeah uh, VUN activation is happening we will not see much on the display but after yeah, the wake up packets are sent. It will go into a mode to yeah, send data to the new display that is wanted to update. And every 16 seconds it can send new data to the display as this is how the system works for activating. So you just saw that the data was being transmitted and these are answers and requests requests from and to the display and here's the yeah main answer overall after that it will go back into the normal mode i would call it and it now needs to get in sync with the main protocol in the meantime where it will yeah get in sync i just want to show how to upload new images to um the display just as an example yeah. something like this don't know and now we have to rotate it as the yeah these displays have the controller here and here is zero and they are going up I can save the image then as a monochrome bitmap, rename it to something very short like N and save it. And now I can go into the ESP, select a new file that I want to upload and in this case the image, hit on upload and it's now directly as a bitmap saved on the ESP. And you can also see it here. And if I now want to send it to the display, I can, yeah, 
select the ID 188 I named it earlier and say I want to upload the bitmap file N. And right now I have to select no compression. There's also the RLE compression available and the arithmetic compression. The arithmetic compression is still being worked on and needs to be cracked. The RLE compression is not used by every display. So for example, the Chroma series is not using them M at all, but the EPOP displays do use them, the RLE compression. So it's it's it works, but not on every display, and it's also reversed to use it. So I now click on yeah, send non-compression, and hopefully the display is already synced, and as you can see it is, and it should update yeah, anytime soon. The data transmission was a bit long now, as you saw. It needed um, about 10 big data packets. So the yeah update is done. If I scroll a bit up here, you can see here's a lot of data being transmitted. And the arithmetic compression is crazy small. So an image with yeah yeah an image like this is only about um let me check is only about 138 yeah um bytes long and if i stand that it will also get updated of course and if i go back here it's only these two data packets that need to be sent the other stuff is just yeah reading with the display and getting the answer from it like the temperature and the yeah, battery status so as comparison, this is the arithmetic compression and going back to the non-compression, we see it's way more data to transmit, which is of course, yeah, understandable. The non-compression is working okay with the Chroma 29, but it's not with the Chroma 74 as it's just so much data on the display that it would take ages to transmit it. And yeah, that's the overall update I wanted to give. Many settings can be made now and they are all working very reliable. And the system is running while also giving the web server and yeah, answering the requests sync um, asynchronically without problems so even the timing is held correctly and yeah this is quite nice to see it working so well the next step will be of course the arithmetic compression and thanks to Yoda logic it is most likely going to happen as he and I am yeah, try, trying to get it worked out. Yeah, the other thing would be to make a database system for the displays itself. So when you activate a display, it will request how big is the screen and what uh, compression is supported. And the ID, of course, it will be then saved into the simple database to have a list of all the activated displays. Now I just yeah, have to remember the numbers, which isn't yeah, perfect or not, not re really usable. So yeah, 